My name is Ken Seeley and I'm a board registered interventionist and I work with Intervention 911. I've been doing interventions for over 10 years now, helping loved ones get the help that they need. The reason why most people don't seek help is because they, they're just fearful. They're afraid that their loved one won't talk to them anymore. They're afraid that they've already cut them off and they're afraid that they have this one little, you know, lifeline with them and they're gonna just shut that down if they intervene. The bottom line is, is if you don't do an intervention, the end result is letting it continue, letting the natural progression of this disease take its natural course, and that is death. Intervention is really the long-term care. You know, the intervention is breaking the cycle for a change in the way people live. And that's everybody involved in that addict's life. So, you know, when we say we're intervening, we're intervening at the very beginning stages, but we're following for three to five years. That's when people get long-term recovery and live the life that they deserve. If you think an intervention is about getting them to go to treatment, forget it. The chances are very low for, lo for a change in the family system. That's not going to change. That's not going to keep them in recovery. It's really about keeping them accountable to following the recommendations for a long period of time. That's what an intervention is, is making sure everybody's held accountable for that time. And that's where we get long-term recovery. And that's where we get the gift and the life that everyone deserves to live. Stop letting them keep stumbling because they stumble over and over and over, but then they just don't get it. Let's create that wall that they hit, that they say, okay, now I see the clarity. Now I see why I have to change. And let's do the intervention. Let's get them the help that they desperately need because too many people are dying today that don't need to die from this. There are answers out there. These families don't have to be suffering and these addicts definitely don't need to be dying from this if we could do a professional intervention.